day eight. And spoilers are out already, and... <sighs> my job is no longer to make something epic and simply meme and make you laugh and be entertained. Let's just get right into it and just have some fun. First, we have Wingori, and there's not much more Hanan to say about them. They're facing FWC, Kaguma, and Hazuki. And I'm wondering the question that many are also wondering. The most important bear questions of all bear questions, and not this one. What kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. But this, will Kaguma Watch Cocaine Bear. I need the answers more than Hanan needs to Hanan. But she turns into Hanan Bear mode. But Kaguma, the vicious bear, with the massage on Hanan's belly. Not the belly rub. How does Hazuki handle Hanan? But Kaguma all like. And Sayaida doing what she does best. But Hazuki ain't down with that. But Gorilla Girl be damned. And Hanan Hanani the pose too. So Kaguma turns into a matador and goes, Ole! And then Bear KO. Hazuki in with a violence party. Fighting as usual. And all this violence leading to Hanan speeding through and. <laughs> Hanan with some Hanan plexes, including her best Hanan, FWC with the double teams, an assisted code breaker, and bicycle kick. Assisted net breaker saved by Saya and Hanan with the roll up, but Hazuki kicks and locks on a cross face, wrenching it back and forcing the easy tap out. Hazuki all satisfied like. Next is Mai Hime, once again coming out to Micah's music. Did Micah lay her foot down on Hanameka's 90s lesbian nightclub entrance music? Is this marriage starting out rocky? Am I just looking for drama? You bet your ass I am. And they are facing zero to line. But Azumi's paired with a sociopath named Kevin. She cares not that Micah is much stronger. And Micah proving it. And Hanameka showing she can do it as well. And Micah with Azumi line. Like, whee! But Kevin turns the violence like and massive drop kick. In comes Azumi and just look at her. What else can I say about Azumi? Amasaki in with Kevin's DDT, and then my Hime tries a double suplex, but also gets DDT'd. So then they try to collide, and collide, and collide. That always works. La Mystica stopped, and big girl Micah tries, but Azumi too quick, and up top for a double stop, and lands. Hameka breaks through with a double lariat, and then another collide, and then another lariat, and no freaking Azumi reverses into La Mystica, into Azumi Sushi, but Micah reverses the sushi into a pin, and she catches Azumi for the win. Micah, not just a strong girl, but say it, Jurassic Park. Clever girl. My Hime with the quick and easy victory, but just watch this face. She gonna eat you. Next is Black Desire. Last time, Momo smacked the Sheeta out of Starlight Kid with a baseball bat. But Starlight Kid is a sadist, so she probably like. Veronica, I thank you for beating the shit out of me. And they're facing, oh wait, my fair lady with the surprise attack. That's definitely a surprise, but it doesn't last at all as Momo back in control with kicks and just vibing like. And Starlight, who's a whole foot in a chain shorter than Lady C, boiling her like. So Lady C remembers how tall she is and just how little this little bitch is and just casually boots her and booting her good with her calves and then a clothesline. And then in comes the legendary Sith warrior of of Egyptian history. Boot and big drop kick down. Momo tries to help, but suffers the wrath of whatever Mai is doing. And double cervical clutches. Starlight escapes like, and cross body, and then easy moonsault. Now it's Momo time. She punishes the warrior, but Mai ducks a kick and starts unleashing her fury. Her fury. 619 kick combo, but Lady C 
clobbers, Starlight, and Mai with the suplex and bridge. Lady C with the Cobra Clutch, and Mai up top with the legendary awesome elbow of the cosmos, taught by centuries of shamans. Lady C choke slam, but Kid escape with a drop kick. Nice! Drop kick roundhouse combo, and Momo delivers her peach. Chicken wing time, but Mai with the easy escape. So Momo with the B driver, but Mai reverses into a pin. Momo escapes and decapitates Mai. Lift for the peach drop. Mai counters with her nine points pinning combo. Broken up by Kid. Black Desire with the double team. And it finally hits. Momo with the B driver and the easy victory. Black Desire stacking their wins with five points now. Next is the worst version of Sprite. No, not sparkly water. Seven up, and they're facing. Oh, it's Waka. <sighs> Am I really to believe Waka will have any shot of beating Moaning Myrtle here? Even Waka knows. Fuck this. You saves the match by just existing. Chop destroys Waka and she tries to put her to sleep, but please, girl. But she keeps trying, damn it, and starts riding her like a chocobo. And she collides into the wall, but you misses a splash and receives a butt slam instead. Waka with more of the ass, but you with this beautiful, devastating sidewalk slam. Nice. Now, you with the mega cannonball. Waka dead like. And Saki has to save the match, so you with a big ass last ride that kills Waka. Easy victory, of course. I sure hope I don't have to hear Nanai more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> Next is all Fukujin Death being hyper today and nearly toppled Saki Kashima. We love Tokyo Sports here for the vibe and they're facing. Oh my god. No, no, I wasn't expecting this. No, not Tampoy. They're singing their anime opening and it's so cute. Look how cute she is. Wow. And she's gonna face Kashima! No! Why do you gotta do this to me, Tony? I mean, Rossi, why do you gotta do this? And oh, Saki and Death with the newspaper, but Tampoy parries their strikes with their own magazine. But the two get their way and smack them with Melt Tears magazine before. No, not the smoking. Stop smoking. At least Saki stopped smoking. And Death with a camel clutch and oh. Oh, she's making Tam read the magazine. And Tam likes what she's reading. Oh, evil death. Tam, cartwheel, and double team poi. Double attack poi, and the power poi. In poi with the cross poi. But Kashima counter strikes poi, and tags in death to eat poi. Death reading the magazine, and senton. That's added damage there. And death with a move she never hits. The brain buster, but wait. She's gonna hit it, holy shit! But Tam breaks it up, and Poi with the pin Poi! But Death reverses it into a pin, and Tam has to save again! God damn it, Poi! Kashima with the head scissors and the boot to the face, and Poi slips on the paper! God damn it, Poi! Death with the pin, and Poi kicks out! Tam Poi double team Poi's again, and Poi hits her gift for the quick win! Easy win for Meltier, and they're given the paper, but wait, that's not their paper, and they won't give it back. Tam won't give it back, and now, oh, Starlight Kid ripped up Poi's magazine, and Kashima being Tam for the paper, but now Poi, sad Poi, and it's okay, they have one at least, but Tam angry, she's Angry. <sighs> Next is Peach Rock, Momokogo, and Mayu Itani looking super cute in that hat. Mayu just had the match of her life a couple days prior, so I expect her to let Komomo do all the work. And they're facing against Karate Brave, who have been such a highlight of this tournament, and watching Tomoko Inaba, who I otherwise wouldn't have watched, has been a joy. She's just 
really good. But in the opening round here, Komomo takes her down, and Peach Rock with a drop down, and Momo leaps over Mayu, and Mayu with a Mario Stomp. Cute. Double drop kick finishes the combo, but Tomoka has a unique kidney punch and a straight punch to Momo. In comes Shuri, and it becomes incredibly unfair with one single kick. Karate Brave with their adorable little karate chop. More kicks to poor Momo, and she comes back with a drop kick, and in comes Mayu with another drop kick. Leg screw into the buckle, lifts Momo up, strike and drop kick from Momo, and frog splash from Mayu. Shuri with an STO, and in comes Tomoka, strikes and a bicycle kick, but Mayu always so crafty, and a drop kick. Momo in with a drop kick, and uh oh, now they're gonna fight, and they're doing it. They're fighting, they're fighting. Tomoka wins the exchange by Momo back with a drop kick. Mayu in with the double team and a double tiger faint kick. Shuri breaks it up. Momo climbs and Shuri with a slap and a suplex down. Tomoka with a great kick of her own. But Komomo with a super kick and Tomoka with a kick too. Shuri takes out Mayu. Double suplex on Momo and a double kick to the back. Eesh. And then a powerful penalty kick by Tomoka and Naba for the easy victory. I love this team, but if you think I'm gonna end an episode with the new eras, please. Next is BMI 2000 and Natsuko looking like she needs a health bar. And they're facing the new eras. Here we go. And BMI just out to kill, Jesus. Mirai with the comeback drop kick and in comes Aimee with rapid fire chops. And then a fun way to make Natsuko DT her own partner. And then she goes, whoop. Waka smash, but I'm a smash too. Mirai, top rope drop kick. Larry, but she can't lift Ruwaka, who punishes her. Cannonball, and then splash by Ruwaka. New Eras return fire with a nice double team. Mirai with a spinning Vader bomb thing. And now Larry, it's ducked, and Ruwaka with the Fisherman Buster. Headbutt, double whip, and collide down. And now the usual setup for the finish. Natsuko misses the senton, and Murai holds on to Ruwaka, and then they toss Ruwaka onto Natsuko. Double Lariat topples Ruwaka, and now Murai to rip the arm, but oh, that little bitch is distracting the ref, and Natsuko kills with the pipe. Ruwaka with a choke bomb, but Murai reverses and tries to rip her arm off. Ruwaka makes it to the ropes, counters a Lariat into the choke bomb. She climbs and goes, well, and completely misses. And Murai, she rips her fucking arm off. Final match, we have the fashionistas here walking out of the Cowboy Bebop anime, Thecla and Julia, Mafia Bella. And they're facing Aphrodite, Utami, and Sayaka Matani. And Julia and Utami start things off, testing each other, basic reversals, nothing crazy. So they tag Kamatani and Thecla, and off these two go. Precise movements and reverses into Thecla catches Kamatani and tosses her down. Mafia Bella in control into the knot. Kamatani brings in Utami and slams Thecla down, and that's it. Poke it. In comes Kamatani, and she slams Thecla down too. What is today, easy mode? Jeez. Kamatani with a beautiful muta lock, and Thecla like, so Saya like. Poke it. And she strikes Thecla down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Those toxic spiders who attempt to poison her sisters. And Thecla with her head scissors. And in comes Julia with the elbow. And Utami stops it. Everyone in defense mode in this match. Julia, big drop kick. And a DT to Utami. And neck breaker to Saya. But Saya back in her wheelhouse. But Julia stops it by initiating striking mode. Gotta love how quickly a match can just shift into this style because now they're fighting and Saya wins and runs the ropes nope backdrop driver but the phoenix rises and kicks Julia's face Julia reverses a suplex ducks a kick ducks a second kick and slap knee blocked and Kamatani northern lights Julia kicks out Saya goes through Kamagoya style, and Julia counters with a drop kick, but Saya with the roundhouse, but Julia with the knee. 
This is for Bristol City, folks. Utami in, and Thecla launched to the ropes, and head scissors, and the spider locks in a web, but Utami too powerful, and whips her into Saya. She ducks her kick, and Julia with a drop kick, and Thecla with a crossbody. Double team face buster, and a double anime punch. Cover, Saya breaks it up. Toxic spider with her unique finish, but Utami like. That's cute. And down she goes. Saya climbs up on Utami, but Julia grabs Saya, and Saya like, <laughs> and Mafia Bella whips to the ropes. Nope. Double team by Aphrodite. And now Kamatani climbs on Utami, and Utami launches her own partner on Thecla and Big Lariat for the easy victory. No! Thecla kicks out. Utami with the air raid crash finishes for the easy victory, but Julia breaks it up. God damn it, it's supposed to be easy. Saya with the Kamagoya mule kick to the face of Julia. And now a magic killer on Thecla hits. Utami to finish Thecla, but the toxic spider is a poison type with heavy magic resistance and refreshes Utami into a pin for the not so easy victory. That was fun. Mafia Bella now with eight points, one more, and they tie my Sakurai and her nine points of the five star. And that's the end here, live at day eight, weeks later, because I'm behind. And I totally remembered that I was gonna do this bit of live reporting of the show, but it's like weeks later, but I forgot. Either way, I gotta go and dig some tunnels before the hyenas come. Bye. Fuck, fuck.